Hi, I'm Brian. Around here they call me the rat. You know, when I was a kid, I loved fire trucks. I still do. The fire trucks are more than just red trucks with holes in the back of them. They come in all shapes and sizes and do all kinds of jobs, as you'll soon see. We'll take you all over North America to see the different kinds of fire trucks and see the men and women who ride them. And we'll show you the not so well known stuff the firefighters do between the calls. So hang on, it's going to be an interesting ride. Let's start with a closer look at the fire truck that pumps the water from the fire hydrant to the fire. It's called the pumper truck. Most pumpers can carry up to 1,000 gallons of water and they also carry hundreds of feet of fire hose. Fire is very dangerous. Firefighters must work together as a team to put out the fire as fast as they can to make sure that no one gets hurt. When a pumper truck arrives at a fire, the driver needs to park the truck close to a fire hydrant. A fire hydrant is where the firefighter can attach a big hose to get the water to put out the fire. It can take up to four firefighters to handle a large fire hose. The pumper truck pumps the water from the fire hydrant through the hose to put out the fire. It's very hot and smoky in a house that's on fire. Firefighters need to wear a mask over their face to breathe fresh air from a tank on their backs. The mask also protects a firefighter's face from the heat. <laughs> Some pumper trucks might look a little different, but they all do the same important job. They get the water to the fire to put it out. The driver of the fire truck, or the captain, is always in touch with the firehouse by radio so they know what to expect when they arrive at the fire. It's important to always get out of the way when you hear loud sirens or see the flashing lights of a rescue vehicle, whether you're on foot or riding in a car. The trucks go fast because they're on their way to save someone and it's an emergency. Firefighters need to practice with their equipment often to make sure it works properly in case there's a fire. Target. 
This is called a monitor. A monitor helps the firefighter shoot the water farther to put out a big fire. Probably the most spectacular fire truck to see in action is the aerial ladder truck. What better way to get from here to way up there in what firefighters call the big stick. We use this truck to get water to fires that are high up on a building. We also use this truck to rescue people from a fire or to get firefighters to places that are difficult to reach. Jacks or stabilizers on the aerial truck help to make sure the weight of the ladder doesn't make the truck tip over. Some ladders go as high as 10 floors in an apartment building. That's about 100 feet in the air. You can't be afraid of heights if you're a firefighter. Just like the pumper truck, there are all kinds of aerial ladder trucks. A firefighter on the ladder of an aerial truck will need a hose and lots of water to put out a fire that's high up on a building. The hose is laid on the ladder and secured with straps. The ladder turns into what firefighters call a water tower.
specialty trucks. Did you know that firefighters don't just fight fires? They often rescue people from accidents, especially if someone is trapped. Some fire trucks carry medical supplies and rescue equipment. We call this type of fire truck a specialty truck. There are fire trucks and there are fire boats. Fire boats are used to fight fire on the water or fire near the shore. I visited a fireboat in Toronto where the firefighters took me for a ride up in the tower. From up here, Firefighters can get onto a ship to fight a fire or rescue someone. Sometimes firefighters need to wear a chemical suit like this one. A chemical suit protects the firefighters from harmful chemicals that might be spilled at the scene of an accident. Firefighters have to use all kinds of different tools and machines to rescue people from car wrecks and other kinds of accidents. These special tools might help a firefighter pry open a door or cut through metal to rescue someone. Cutting tools like saws and axes help firefighters rescue someone who's trapped. This firefighter is starting up a generator. It's a motor to make electricity for lights and tools at an accident or fire. 
just all these compartments make up our road restaurant here. Carabiners, pulleys, racks, gives us senders, all your stuff for, like mountain climbing gear, right, similar right. for rope rescue is all in there. Here's our. Yeah, I It's important to remember the firefighter is your friend and they will always come to help you. So if you're ever in trouble, make sure you dial 911. We took our video camera on a road trip to visit other firefighters in other cities. We're in picturesque Binghamton, New York. We're in New York City. We're in Washington, D.C. We're in Station 2 in Clearwater, Florida. This is the new fire hall down at Walt Disney World. On our trip, we checked out the Pierce Fire Truck Factory in Appleton, Wisconsin to see how fire trucks are actually made. There's a lot of work that goes into building them, so let's take a look. Of course, almost every firefighter likes to trade t-shirts and patches. What we found is firefighters are the same everywhere. We are one big happy family. You know, firefighters aren't always putting out fires and answering other emergencies. There's a lot to be done between the calls.
My favorite part of living in the fire hall is having breakfast with the gang. Thank you.